Ito, starting bid. 100. Walang na pang regalo. Teddy Bear, sa mga magkasintahan. 100. Mura-mura. 100. Anyone for 100 pesos? 100. Thank you, sir. 100 pesos. Anyone for 110? 110. 110. Then, if you support 110, 100, 100. Sold. 100. Sold. Where's Stella? Ah, 10. Hi! So first of all, I'd like to greet all the fathers out there and dog parents a happy Father's Day. We went to Vinny's Plaza and that there was a RetroCon 2019 going on and we joined a bidding contest or a bidding war and the prizes were uh, plush toys. Of course, they were originally designed for kids. I actually joined that contest para manalo ng mga toys that I could give to my dogs. So I'm gonna be showing you um, what toys can we actually give to our dogs. I'm gonna be showing you a toy, which is here. This is a teddy bear. Okay, so nice, beautiful teddy bear. The integrity of it is really nice. The seam is nice and tight. So, hindi siya agad masisira. So most of the toys out there na man designed for dogs are actually for, for kids. Um, pero you have to really inspect is it going to be um, strong enough for the biting. The thing about plush toys is hindi siya dapat sinisira. You never want a dog to learn how to destroy plush toys. Uh, plush toys were really meant uh, to teach dogs how to be careful, especially for retriever breeds. Kasi for retrievers, once they retrieve the, the plush toys or the pheasant, if they're retrieving, if they're um, uh, gun dogs or retrieving dogs, they should hold it and then not let go and then probably return it to their uh, master or parent, but they should not rip it up. Okay, so it's a great way to teach your dog to be careful on how they bite and retrieve. Okay, so this one is made out of cotton, so it has cotton stuffing. It's really nice. So this one I can recommend to play to let my dog play it. Um, I just need to be careful about the bow though. So I might remove it once I give it to the dogs, or better yet, just supervise. Um, teach them to just really be careful when it comes to playing these toys. Again, do not let them rip this off, okay? Um, another one that we won was a gorilla. So there you go. Nice, beautiful gorilla. Let's show it to the camera. A little bit goofy. So upon inspections, I'd be like, okay, this is something that I can let my dog play because Basically, it has a few stuffing in it, but generally, it's nice and intact and just like any other plush toys. But one thing I noticed is it has a little bit of damage right here. So let's see. So it has a little bit of damage compared to the other foot. There you go. Ito, medyo may sira siya. So, can I let my dog play with this one? There you go, meron pala siyang butas. Um, maybe, but again, with supervision. So, this is something that I won from the bidding contest, and it's nice. I actually like it. Okay. Next one is a little dino from Mario. There you go. Now, the thing about this uh, doll is, meron siya mga little bits 
or beads, sort of like the styro inside. Uh, I can just feel it and I think it's sound, yeah. So again, we can let them play this, pero pag nasira na nila, all the styrofoam will probably come out. Um, it can get messy and it's really not good. So with any toy, just make sure that you supervise them. Never leave your toys unattended with, with your dogs. Okay, another one, this one, it also has beans inside. So like a little beanie baby. This is Ponyo. Okay, so it's a, an animation from Studio Ghibli. So this one, I will not let my dogs play. This is an iconic anime, so this is for personal use. I'm just gonna keep it as a display. If you haven't seen um, Ponyo, I suggest that you watch it. It's a very beautiful, heartwarming film from Studio Ghibli, the same creators of Spirited Away, another fantastic movie. So this one, I'm gonna keep. The rest, I'm gonna give to my dogs. And again, we're just gonna supervise, let them play with it, try to teach them how to retrieve. Pero, like I always say, supervision is key in teaching your dogs. Make sure that you do not let them rip it out. Just a quick uh, story. I had a client a few years back, um, pet parent bought a big teddy bear. Um, the dog was a, a St. Bernard. So what happened? The St. Bernard was trying to take it from the owner's hand and you have the owner just waving it around. Tapos, pag nakagat na ng St. Bernard, uh, the St. Bernard will try to wiggle it and then uh, will try to pull it away from the owner. Tapos, the St. Bernard will rip it up. And then the pet parent was so oh, happy seeing that the dog was playing and the St. Bernard was ripping it to shreds. A few months later, the dog was then aggressive to a small human. So whether that's a kid or an adult, so that's a consequence of poor training just because nah, the dog was able to get it and then rip it up. So it's a negative association or maybe positive association that, hey, anything that is smaller than me, I can rip it to shreds. So not good. So we had to do a lot of um, training behavior uh, modification or rehabilitation. Right now we call, we just call it behavior adjustment training. We were able to solve it, but again, that took a ton of work. All right, so I remember that too well. That's why I always recommend that when you're playing with plush toys, supervise, have fun with it, let them retrieve it, but do not let your dog destroy it. It's also good time to just teach them, leave it. All right, so I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to ask me questions, just put it in the comment section. I will choose the best and then make a separate video just to answer your question. And until next time, train and take care of your dogs. Keep safe, bye. See you, sit. Good, do you want the toy? Do you want the toy? So I can hear you. I can't hear you. Good girl. Good girl. Which one? Do you want a bear? Do you want the bear? Do you want the teddy bear? Huh? There you go. What are you, Serena? Here you go. Nice catch. Good girl.